Hello everyone, this is Andy, Ghostry's product manager, and I'd like to take a few minutes today to talk to you about Ghostry's new options menu. The menu is available in Ghostry version 2.7 for Firefox and will be coming for other browsers soon. To visit the options menu, click on the Ghostry icon in the Firefox navigation bar and select options. You'll notice that the options are divided into two tabs, general and advanced. We'll get to the advanced tab in a minute. But first, in the general tab, you can enable Ghost Rank. Ghost Rank is our anonymous usage statistics panel, and the data we gather there is how we support the development of Ghostry. We sincerely thank all of our users who participate in the Ghost Rank panel. Next, you'll see the library auto update option. We routinely add to the library of third party elements, which we call Threeps for short. And this option means you'll automatically be provided with the newest version of the Threep library. If you prefer to do this manually, you can disable this option and then fetch the library updates manually from this menu, but we recommend you let Ghostry do the fetching for you. The final section of the general options page is blocking options. Here you have the ability to browse all of the threeps in the library and decide which you'd like to block. We've grouped the elements into categories to help with your blocking decisions. You can see all of the elements in a category by clicking on the category title, and then you can learn more information about the company by clicking on the company name. You can follow through to the full Ghostry Knowledge Page profile for even more detailed information about each company in the Ghostry 3 library. Let's walk through the categories and explain what's contained there. First, in the ad Advertising category, uh, that contains, of course, advertising elements, things that actually deliver advertisements to your page. Examples are Google AdSense or 24-7 Real Media. The next category is Analytics, which contains site research and audience intelligence tools. These tools, like Google Analytics, generally exist to help the publishers understand the audience of their website. The next element is Privacy, which contains various services delivering the Ad Choices icon for advertising transparency. You may have seen the forward eye icon in the corner of ads on the web, which are delivered by a variety of companies, including Evadon, Ghostry's parent company. Next is Trackers which is comprised of elements that exist only for audience tracking. These are usually elements that exist to keep an eye on user behavior and can be used for things like measuring the effectiveness of advertising and placing users into audience groups for future targeted advertising. Examples of these elements include Omniture and Exalate. Finally, the Widgets category includes elements that serve some sort of functional purpose on the page. Uh, though they may still work to also keep tabs on user behavior like the tracking category. Examples include Discus comment forms, Google Plus One and Facebook like buttons, or links that allow you to tweet or blog about a site. Let's take a look at the Cookies tab. Blocking cookies is an extra level of protection that Ghostry provides besides just blocking the threep on its own. But cookie blocking can have some unintended consequences. As you can see, cookie blocking add-ons don't always play nicely with each other even though we're all trying to do the same thing. And you might see some strange issues with logins or saved settings, um, even you know when you have the cookies blocked. We recommend you only use cookie blocking if you've identified a particular issue, or if you're comfortable with potential side effects and you just want a super heavy-duty privacy filter in your browser. Cookie blocking works the same way as three blocking, uh, divided into categories, and you can block by individual companies. Now let's take a look at the site whitelist. A whitelist is a group of domains where Ghostry will not block any threeps or cookies. So in this case, uh, let's take the search engine DuckDuckGo. They're a privacy-friendly search engine. I trust their privacy policies. And if so, if they were to add a third-party element, a tracker or an advertisement, um, I could believe that they've vetted that well and that it's um, a third-party company that behaves um, properly. And so I'd like to support DuckDuckGo in that endeavor. So I'll add DuckDuckGo to my site whitelist. And even if I'm blocking stuff on other sites, uh, it will go through on DuckDuckGo. Now let's take a look at the advanced tab. Here you have some display options like showing the alert bubble. That's the purple box in any corner of the screen and for some number of some amount of time. You can also choose to show Ghostry in the add-on bar, which I don't actually have enabled. So in Firefox, you can go to View. Uh, toolbars, add-on bar, and you'll see Ghostry down in the bottom right-hand corner of the screen. You can choose to show Ghostry there or not, um, and you can, I'll just say, 
let's remove that for the sake of the difference. And then you can also show Ghostry in the navigation bar, which is up in the top right. When you auto update, you can choose to block any new elements by default or notify when new elements come in. I'm going to tell it to notify me when there's new elements so I can make those decisions when the new elements are added. We also have a set of performance options. Now, this is in case you have some sort of uh, weird issue with Firefox running slowly or if there are particular sites that um, you use a lot that Ghostry really bogs down trying to scan. We scan and block images and iframes, embed and object tags. We look for redirection when uh, a tag loads, and we also look for tags dynamically as the, as the elements are inserted into the page. You can disable any of those things, but obviously that um, reduces Ghostry's effectiveness. You can also choose to delete Flash and Silverlight cookies when you exit your browser. Uh, these are special kinds of cookies that are placed by uh, video and, and other types of elements. I'm going to go ahead and select that. Make sure to click save when you're done with any options changes. Ghostry options screen will close on its own and you're back to browsing with Ghostry. So I hope you found this rundown of Ghostry's option page helpful. There's plenty of ways you can contact us if you have any questions. Support at ghostry.com, we're on Get Satisfaction, Twitter, Facebook, or you can check out our blog purplebox.ghostry.com. I'm Andy, happy browsing, and as always, thanks for using Ghostry.